Now it is time for matchups number two between USD and FEU. And I'm sure if you're FEU, you'd want to have a better outcome of couldn't go. Pastrana on the inside puts it up. No. And Sherba amongst the trees finds a way to flip it up and in for the first field goal of the game. UST just dominating on the offensive boards, providing them second chance points. Torreto. Villanueva picks it out. Salvani guarded by Pastrana. Salvani in the corner. Villanueva for a three. That's good. Beautiful shot there by Yvette. That's a very high arcing shot. And that's one of those shots that always seems like it's going in yep. because of the art and because of well, just how slow it goes in. On oh, FEU gets a steal. Salvani all the way. And FEU up in front by one. Being catched rather than the yep. ones catching up here. Mangia has the basketball for the Lady Tamaraos. Salvani gets it inside. Nice Beautiful. pass to Nagma, who Go finishes at the rim. FEU's offense right now is flowing seamlessly. I'm liking the ball movement and the confidence. USD needs to slow things down here. They want to get a pos quality possession. Santos gets the three-pointer to fall. And that's just smart basketball by Yvette, reading the defense and taking what the defense is giving her. Another three-pointer falls here for FBU. And they're calling it a two-pointer, rather. But they are up in the lead here, 9-7. to seven. And that's one thing you have to be happy about, the efficiency in their shooting so far. We mentioned earlier in their first round matchup, that's where they fell short. And today they're shooting lights out early on. Santos pulls up for the three-pointer, goes in and out. Ambos gets the offensive board, floats it up. No, might have gotten blocked there. And Nagma securing the basketball. And it's FEU with possession. Nagma with an open lane. Nagma going all the way, lays it up and in. Good decision there by Nagma. She had a teammate open on the run, but decided to take it for herself because there was a defender. And now FEU back up in front here by two. Pastrana with the offensive rebound. Pastrana driving, flips it up and in. Found a way. Found some type of angle to get yeah. that one up and in, but she did. So props to that. And USC gets another shot up and in. It's a three-pointer by Escandor. Such a fast-paced game we're seeing. Both teams being very, very scrappy. As we see Nagma there, another easy two. And FEU gets it to within one here. Under a minute to go in the first quarter. Great job by the Lady Tamaraos to keep USD at bay here. Pescandora, another three-pointer, no good. Maglupay, the offensive board, spins, pecks it home for two. I forget sometimes she's a rookie with how seamlessly she's fit into this squad. Well, Coach Heidi has had a lot of trust in her young players. So what's going to be the, the key here for FEU, Mel, to not let the jitters or let the excitement get into your head? and keep things close here against the Growling Tigresses. Yes. Well, one thing I like that they did in the first quarter, they're being more patient in their offense. They're not letting UST dictate the pace of the game. So I think as long as they remain patient with their offense, make the right passes, you'll see easy shots like that from Yvette. Again, Shane Salvani has been managing them here so far. Takitakata can get that three-pointer to fall. Pastrana this time pulls out, gets the three-pointer. And just when we were talking about Kent getting much of her scoring from the inside, she still shows that she is dangerous from the three-point range. And playing some hard-nosed defense here as well, forcing that turnover on Salvani and FEU. Pastrana to Takata. A little give and go here by the two guards from USD and Sherba making the right choice. You do not want to be the ones chasing USD. You want to make them chase you because that is much less of a hurdle to do. Hill to climb here with their squad because they are 
all of a sudden down by 13 as Sherba pokes the ball from Villanueva and Sherba will have an easy lane to the basket. Sherba just such an excellent two-way player getting that first deal to the easy layup and then it hands it off to Salvani inside to Villanueva nice play drawn up there and a foul plus the basket it's going to be an and one opportunity for Yvette Villanueva. He was doubled and just splitting the defense. Yvette right wide open on the block. For that. And with two rebounds in this game for FEU, their top scorer so far. Bananan throws it on the inside. Ambos finishes at the rim. Second quarter in USD has scored 18. Salvani with a nice poke there. Wide open lane to the basket. Lays it up and in for the six point of the quarter. Shane Silvani stripping the ball from Taki to this fast break, forcing this time out. 19 offensive rebounds for USD, 15 rebounds in total for this FBU team as they make USD score another bucket. And they force another turnover. The Growling Tigresses cannot be stopped on that defensive end. And Ken Pastrana can't be stopped. Painted area that USD has gotten a lot of their buckets. A lot of drives like that from Salvani with it. Gets it to Villanueva. She fires for three. That's good. That second three-point shot of the game. A much needed three-pointer for FEU, but Daki looks to answer back, and she does. Well, right now, they're running back to the backcourt as Soriano pulls up for the three-pointer and leaves it and drains the triple. Yes, the first one was Eka draining that three-point. Two early turnovers. Astrana. Gets it to Santos. Santos sets up for three. That's good. And then on the next possession, Bridget Santos wanting to join the three. One thing that UST is doing well, they're throwing different defenses at FEU. And I think that's why FEU is struggling with how to efficiently run their offense. Basilang gets the triple to fall. And a much needed triple as well for FEU as they get their first points here in the third quarter. Soriano, what a find inside to Maglupay, left wide open by the FEU defense. Miscommunication there on the FEU defense. Basila trying to go back to back, and she does. She two free throws. FEU starting to find their flow as Pasilan was able to knock down two three-point shots. 1% better than FEU in this game, but it's those Defensive stops that they've been able to get at a push them in front here as Nagma gets a score, gets another bucket for FEU. MJ doing a great job at assisting Nagma there. We mentioned that MJ is struggling to find her offense, but one thing she could do is set her teammates in places to be successful. Nice pass on the inside by Sherba to Tangana, and it's another basket for USD to USD's 13 in this quarter. Pass to Rhea Ong is good, plus the foul. Shot by Ong to Max Delatore there. Getting Kaki stuck behind her, driving to the basket. Being able to see those types of things, even in moments when you're deeply in game, and Taki Takata seeing the rim perfectly that time. Yes, we see this play started from Eka recognizing the defense. And then Skying in there for the rebound, and it's USD with possession. About a minute to go here in the third quarter. Quick fire from Takata. That's good. Beautiful fast break there. Back in the ball game, Taki Takata with a quick fire triple in the corner. In this game, their largest lead of this ball game so far. Three seconds to shoot for FEU. De La Torre steps through inside. No, 
while ago, Santos wasn't able to knock down that three-point shot. FEU has got to do a better job at getting to the shooters as Santos gets another steal and a transition two points. Poking the pockets there. Gets it to Ambos. Ready, Kete, the rookie, inside to the cutting, Ambos. Nice give and go there by USC. Nice back door by Ambos. Take a look at this replay. Relicate inside. I think that's one thing the rookies, all the rookies so far this year, have been doing well and why they're, they're striving is because they have the ability not to be sped up. They need to battle every single possession they can. And I think that's one thing that Coach Riza has done an excellent job as Lopez knocks down that three-point shot with teams like UST and Lopez being that spark here in this fourth quarter heading into this timeout. Uh, in their last game, granted it was a couple weeks now since yeah. that last one, but for them to head into that game with no expectations and to... And expecting to make things tough for teams across this season. And I think when you look at where FEU is now and where they are, where they were just a season ago, uh, it's safe to say there have been ample development in this FEU program. And I think that's one thing I also got to talk to Coach Riza about. She said, as being a former player, um, particularly for this FEU, and to be that former player, it just it just has to fire you up a little bit more as a coach yeah. to bring this program to a place where yeah, the place where you want it to be. Mm -hmm. As uh, you see, CJ McGlupay. <laughs> I don't know if that's you know nice to see or that's terrifying <laughs> to see. Depends if you're on USD or not, I guess. <laughs> James Silvani here taking one step, one dribble to the half court line because they could use that line as a third defender. I swing there that time from Mangia to Lopez and she gets a three pointer ball. And USD will let the time expire and that'll be it. The Growling Tigresses take win number nine of the season at the expense of.